Hey folks, this is Deco here, and welcome back to RimWorld. So we come to you today still bearing a giant load of iguanas. We have to hold on to them for, like, actually quite a while yet. Um, not you, hold on. Adorable iguanas. Twelve days. Ugh. But, on the plus side, our prisoners and their guards are going to be leaving us pretty quick here. Um, they're actually leaving in seven hours, so that's fantastic. Yes, it's been nice having a little extra firepower, although they haven't really done a whole lot. But losing four people um, and not having to feed them will be nice. I think we can switch back to fine meals. And also, hopefully that will help our wealth, which is kind of getting a little out of control. So, yeah. Oh, and one of our people coming back. I didn't click on that. 1.9 days. Okay, so um, my plan's here. So, um, first off, we need to get some medical bags made. It turns out that I actually have two separate people who can make this. This requires crafting of five and a medical of four, and it turns out that both Hoff and Ant can make them. So that's pretty convenient. Um, I'll have somebody do them. Maybe... Well, no, I, I want Ant to do it. He'll make better, better quality bags. So we'll get those made here pretty quick here. I've got a bill in... Should I start that, actually? Requires five medicine, so it doesn't make any difference because we have three. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. So anyway, we'll get to that sooner or later. Um, I do have some new mods installed, priority treatments installed, which means that um, your doctor should start by fixing, you know, the giant gaping wound in your chest and then deal with the bruise on your toe a little later. Um, and also the mod Ugg You Got Me, which stops social fights, you know, if they get too badly hurt. These are things I've used in the past. Um, there is a mod list for the Steam collection that's in the description, so there's that. And the last thing I want to do is I've decided that I want to try to tame a wild or a red goo. Because that sounds awesome, doesn't it? Is there one closer? You. Let's try to tame a red goo. Why? No particular reason. It'd just be neat. Oh yeah, and there is a steam geyser over here. I hadn't noticed that one, so thanks for pointing that out. Um, we're not going to build anything. We're not going to build it at the moment because I need my components, but um, it's there. I've also got a bunch of mining queued up here and there. We're going to put some walls in. We're going to try to expand this area. I really need to be building where there's stone and not where there's, like, dirt. So, I, I don't know. I'm doing my best. <laughs> things are kind of... Uh, things are kind of up in the air. I think things are looking good, though. I think we're moving in a good trajectory. So, there's that, at least. And we're going to learn how to make, what, harpsichords pretty soon. I, I don't particularly care for harpsichords, but... I guess some people do, so hooray. Let's keep mining back this direction. Let's just see how far we can go. I mean, if we can keep moving back in all these spaces, then that would be convenient. Go ahead and haul things. Uh, okay, harpsichords, hooray. Um, oh, you named a red goo in the first try. Excellent. And you are... All right, and now you are gonna live in the goo area. Not you, you're an animal. Sorry. Goo. Uh, goo. Um, you serve no function whatsoever, except that I think it's really cool. And I wanted one. <laughs> so, yay. They can't be trained to do anything. Um, they're dumb. But that's okay. That doesn't make them any less cool. And probably I'm going to build a couple different buildings this time, is what this is starting to look like. Yeah, we'll have to see. God, we have so much uranium. I should actually mine some and then trade it for all the gold that I need, but... Um, hasn't come up yet. Oh, there's the shuttle. Perfect. Wait, why are you starving? Are we not making kibble? Oh, it all fits in here. Oh. <laughs> Poor little guys. Alright, um... There we go. All right, so, shuttle. Let's get this out of here. Um, let's go ahead and let's just load you guys. Can I send the other guys away as well? Because I don't really want them. Well, anyway, someone will go ahead and load them. I would like them out. All right, here's number two. And are you guys going with them? I would like you guys to go. I don't want you here. Not allowed. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and let's send the prisoners back. Neat. Awesome. So now you're a yeoman. Hooray! I think? Is that something I actually care about? Um, where was that? I forgot where it was. Bio? Food binge. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Neat. Okay. Cool. Oh, I didn't see that. Why are you upset? You're in a perfectly happy mood. Chemical starvation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, really? Oh, that's convenient. Can I mine this out safely? I sure can. Well, that's convenient. 
Yeah, mine that out, please. Thank you. All right. Looks like we're getting a few things repaired. Yeah, turrets have been nerfed pretty badly. Um, it looks like some of their terribleness has been tuned down a little bit um, in the unstable branch. Actually, I don't know if some of that's been rolled out yet, but um, they're getting some of their accuracy back. And I think they're going back to three shots, maybe. But the point is, they're going to be a little better. So, you know, sometimes it's the best you can do. Turrets were pretty strong. I don't think that nerfing them quite that hard is a good idea, but Tynan did not consult with me first, so here we are. Oh, here, Colonists have returned. Yay! Oh, thank God. I mean, I, I guess I don't really care, but it's good to have you guys back one way or another. Um, I never did sort out your work, did I? Um, no, I didn't. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should have you take over research. Oh, instead of an 18, though? Well, you both have giant gaps in what it is you'll do, so... Well, I don't know. Go work on stuff, it's fine. Sterile materials. I don't remember if I said that or not, but that's what we were doing. Um, we could do hospital beds. We haven't had any Nutriamine available, so I can't make any of this stuff anyway, but... You know, maybe soon. Um, I did get some of this stuff mined out here now, so now you can see we're kind of stuck up back here, so we can't go any further that direction. Um, it looks like we'll be able to just move this whole thing out, except for the fact that it's water, and I don't think that moisture pumps can get rid of shallow water. Actually, actually they can, can't they? Did I research moisture pumps? Maybe I should do that instead. No, I didn't. Let's, let's do that. Because if I could dry this area out, that would be a good place to expand. Yeah, that would be fine. Um, let's go and let's get this chopped up. Someone will get that taken care of at some point then, I assume. Um, have we run out of dusters? Yep, looks like we got four out of that. Okay, I'm happy with that. We just need leather and stuff as our big problem. One colonist idle. Yeah, dude... There's just not a lot for you to do. I can drop down cooking. Maybe that'll keep you busy? I don't know. It's not great, man. You're a little troublesome. Just making sure I can mine out these components. I suppose I could have them start building this area. I feel like if I build that, it's just going to get constantly taken down by raiders, but it would be kind of nice. I'm just worried about running out of components when I don't have fabrication yet. That worries me greatly. Well, let's let's build the box for it at least. And then we'll watch raiders come and constantly attack it, and we'll be amused, secretly. And we'll laugh long into the night. That's extremely unlikely. Possible, but extremely unlikely. And we want no roofing in this area, please. Thank you very much. I can actually get these hauled inside too. We're gonna need it. I mean, I can actually like build walls over part of the wire, but that just gets them even more excited about destroying it, so... Maybe I'll wall this off, yeah, and start using moisture pumps on it. I mean, it'll take almost literally forever. Moisture pumps are so incredibly slow, but it might be entertaining. I don't know. Alright, good news team. We're back to fine meals. We're gonna be fine. We've got some lentils and stuff came, coming in. We should have no trouble whatsoever supporting some fine meals. So maybe we should go ahead and build this. I don't know, I've got the wall up. Should I double wall it just for kicks? I mean, I guess. I've got a lot of stone. Um, I'm gonna mine this area out too. I think I can just wrap my way around this entire area. This would be an okay spot to build some stuff. Yes, it's right next to the danger zone, but I mean, down here would be okay. I kinda think I'm gonna do that. I haven't really had to pay attention to ceilings in kind of a long time, and it's interesting having to actually pay attention. <laughs> So, anyway, um, we've got some skips made up here. We can have one of these for steel. Copy settings, paste settings. And honestly, one of these should be stone blocks. I think would be a good idea. I don't know why that wasn't set on critical, but it should be. So, okay, so we'll get some stuff in there. So, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's run some power lines out. We'll just kind of stall on this. I'm really worried about, like, like I said, things getting destroyed and not having the resources to easily keep repairing them. That worries me greatly. And what's our wealth looking like? Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Okay. Well, maybe it'll be okay then. That would be handy to not have to worry about power again for quite a while. 
You know what? Let's do it. Sure, go for it. Uh, shelter for royals. Yeah, I don't have a space that you'll live in. Because, our place isn't nice enough. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so over here we are out of walls. Let's go ahead and even though this is a ton of labor, let's make these undermountain walls smooth. Because if I don't, I will forget. Hold on, hold on. Something's happening. There we go. Okay. And I don't want to accidentally cue them um, to build like power lines or something and then they tear it all apart. Because that would be disastrous. Yeah, we can, we can afford this as long as too many things don't break. Um, that's not the simple meals number that I wanted to keep around anymore. But they'll get eaten by prisoners or something in the future. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Oh, actually, why aren't you being stored? Are these both uncritical? Yeah, that's why. Okay. Moisture pumps. Oh my god, that was fast. Okay. Um, worthless, yes, but fast. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and let's just wall this area off. Um, let's do it way out here. Because I'd rather not have to put any bridges in. Yeah, go ahead and do that. I guess I can make that home zone. So it gets repaired. Actually, since I don't have to worry about cleaning... Oh my god, the cleaning area thing just totally made my day. Well, this is perfect. Now I don't have to worry about these lines getting cut and then me not noticing. Which has happened, to be fair. Um, once or twice, that is a thing that has occurred. This is way better. Neat. Well, let's get some more components mined as well, and then we can start making some more guns. There's some components over here. Because we're a little underpowered. Mm, I thought there was a bigger vein. There's some over here. I don't really want to be that far away quite yet. I don't want to get caught out, you know. I guess just come, like, chop off this box. This outcropping of compacted machinery. Yeah, and I'll go ahead and I'll turn this back on. So we've got enough flak vests. Let's make at least one more assault rifle. What do these cost? How many components? Seven components. Ugh, yeah, one. Only one. Oh, you decided to roof that in. Well, okay. Whatever. Honestly, man, if that's what makes you happy, if you're happy, I'm happy. Sort of. Yeah, moisture pumps are four components, so yeah, that's gonna have to wait for a little bit. We have better things to use them on, things like geothermal plants and guns. Hooray, power! And we also have Psychic Soothe coming by. Cool. Well, this will save us a lot of trouble. Now I can just go ahead and not, work, uh, not worry about some of this stuff. Blood bouquet. Did I look at this? A, sh a spiny plant with some kind of fruit hanging from the top. Seems to be equally as hard as the trunk and covered in spines. Well, let's cut that because it looks like it might burn. Actually, you know what? That's actually not a bad point. Uh, good idea, me. Let's go ahead and let's... um. Let's concrete this area in. That way nothing will ever grow where it could set our geothermal generator on fire. And it's probably not worth doing it on the outside. So do that. I like that plan. And Ant, are you consuming a fine meal? Because you're hungry. But then hopefully you're going to go make more assault rifles. You're going to pray. <laughs> God has no place within these walls. Anyway, never mind. Yeah, I'm having a hard time keeping like Trav and other people like that busy. Like, they just don't, they don't do anything. So it's hard to keep them occupied. They just, they just get bored. I don't know what else to say. Let's take the roof off in this area. Um, actually, no. Do I want to do that or do I just want to build here? I think I just want to build there. Let's set this for ignore then for the moment. Should I just mine this out and make it all go away? I might as well. And then I can contain this area and start building down here. This is going to turn into a hallway, by the way, in case you're wondering. <laughs> That's kind of the plan at the moment. Yeah, let's do that. Um, How far down should we go here? The growing zone ends about here. So we could, we could do this. And that would still look okay. Actually, this would be better. Yeah. Build that. And then I'll decide how far over I want to go. Maybe just to right here, actually. Yeah, let's do that for right now. Yep, that's a good plan. Good thing, Deco. 
Yep. Good idea. Oh, that's the wrong button. That button. I love these extra things that we have. These overlays are wonderful. I love them to death. They're so cool. And now I can go ahead and zone all this. Boy, I'm so used to micromanaging the home zone for cleaning. Like, having this separate cleaning zone from that cleaning area mod, I think it's called, is pretty great, let me tell you. And our cloth situation is improving. That's good. Our leather situation is dire. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could go hunt these things. I guess. I don't know. Go for it. An exotic goods trader. Okay. Did I have a better warden that I forgot about? Nope. Why don't you come give them a call in the morning? No reason to do so right now. Trev, will you really not do any of this stuff? You can't grow, you won't mine. You suck at smithing and tailoring, you're terrible at art. You know, maybe I should give him some art. Should we have him art? Let's have him art. For absolutely no reason whatsoever other than it'll keep him busy, and eventually I'll need it. I mean, I will need lots of art. So let's go and let's make an art bench. Um, Steel is probably the best way to go here. And I would like to split some of these rooms up, but not at the moment. And there should probably be... You know what? You can have a chair there, and you can have a chair there. And both of these can be decent quality. Normal quality. Alright, go for it. I keep giving Ant jobs to do. You know what, Ant? Um, I'm gonna kick your construction down to number two, so you go and get those guns made. That's just more important, frankly. It really is. Vert, are you gonna get up and call these people? Thank you. A mad rat. Oh no. Okay. We'll do our best. Alright, so I can't sell the iguanas, obviously. What do we want to do here? Okay, so here's the planet thing. We're gonna buy some Nutriamine, and we still need one advanced component. This will give us two, so then I'll be able to build the fab bench. We're gonna sell some random stuff here. Scrolling down here, I didn't notice that I had a psychic amplifier. So, that's awesome. I need a drug lab then too, obviously. So where is this psychic amplifier? All right, um, an architect device that links the brain to a larger psychic field. With training and abilities, the user can throw side casts with diverse effects. This can be upgraded through several levels. Upgraded levels um, permit the use of more powerful side casts. It can be self-installed by one person with no chance of failure. Press it into your skull where it inserts its neural tendrils and binds itself to the bone. Cool. Imperial laws restrict the use to uh, specific royal titles. Illegal use of the amplifier runs the risk of having your psychic signature detected and causing diplomatic consequences. Now, I only have the one yeoman, right? That's in your bio here. I am worried about making Vert useless at some point in the future, but... But... Yeah, maybe, maybe I should wait. Well... No, we'll do one level. Why don't you come, stick this baby into your brain. Nice, and you've learned to sidecast. Um, burden. Targets them for a short time by, uh, slows them. Well, that's kind of cool. Entropy, huh? Psychic entropy increases after performing a sidecast. Going over the safe limit can lead to long-term health consequences. Huh. Psychic hangover. Yeah. Is this doing anything bad? No. Okay. Well, that's a win-win, I guess. I'm happy with this. I can't believe I didn't notice that. Well, yes, I can. Here, go ahead and uninstall this baby. We're going to put, um... What was I going to build? What's this? Lax range weapon? Oh, no, the rat! I forgot about the rat. Good job, Dakota. Done some fine work today in getting attacked by a rat. At least you didn't die. All right. Yeesh. My bad. All right, and it was um, the drug lab that I need to build. And if I'm going to have Ant do other stuff, I need to have someone else do construction at a higher priority. I moved Temp up a little bit. That's not a great solution. I moved Dakota up. I, maybe, maybe if Pox gets to it, that could be okay. Maybe... But you're kind of a full-time cleaner at this point, so... So, we need to get this next gun done. I'm gonna have Ant finish making these chairs, or at least this chair. Um, yeah, and then we need the next assault rifle done. Just need a maid. 
You've actually got one partway done up here. Yep. 391. That's a lot. Wow, this chair... I didn't realize steel dining chairs took so much labor. <laughs> Maybe I should have made it out of a wood. Did you do a good job? Yes, you did. Still a workshop, but at least it's an impressive workshop, right? Oh, you guys are set to use drugs. No, you're not. Nope, nope, nope. No drugs. I should probably put Vert on the schedule. But Vert's in a pretty good mood these days. Because you got married. So there's that. Insulted, minor pain, greedy. You're not in a very good mood, but that's kind of your own problem. Transhumanist frustrated. Well, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'll make and or buy you bionic parts when I can afford it, I promise. And, buddy, I really need you to work on this gun. Oh, need research. Oh, my God. How long has this been sitting there? Probably kind of a while. Um, let's do... Um... None of these are useful. Here, let's learn how to do brain surgery. Oh, and we need to get some of this stuff built. Like, we need to uh, make some chem fuel. Make it from organics. Does it really matter what? No, it really doesn't. Just make some. Um, we should have things like mortars. We don't have the components for it. Um, but at least... Oh, we have components down here. Why are, you, why are these down here? Come get these components. Um, we could at least maybe have some chem fuel and stuff around for IEDs, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. There's a bunch of components over here. I guess we can go ahead and we can mine these. Um, how do I want you to do this, though? I don't want you walking all the way around. Just, just do that. Yeah, do that. How much longer do we have to keep track of these stupid iguanas? Six days. <laughs> All right. Mad red goo. Okay, many of the red goos in the area have been driven insane. Okay. That's not that big of a deal. I mean, they explode, so it's not great, but that's okay. Oh, this is set up wrong. Um, son of a... There we go. Okay, and then let's go ahead and set you... Let's bring you into the home zone. Or let's bring you into the base, I mean. Um... Just keep copying these settings. It's not what I meant to do. Paste, yeah. Copy, paste, paste. Okay, perfect. Yeah, everyone come back inside. Um, it should be no big deal. I'm going to leave this door open specifically so they come inside. Is this Manhunter? Yes. So you're going to beat on the doors once or twice as you come by. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Fee, come inside. Just in case. They shouldn't bother you. Same with Rizal. You're already in your safety area. Is this not set up correctly? Animal base. Animal safety. Okay, good. Or goo safety, rather. That's fine. Good, I'm glad that you're sleeping in there. That's actually perfect. Alright. So, um, I guess come take up your defensive positions. Everyone except for Ant, who I would like to keep working. Yep, that's a good plan. Good thinking, me. I don't know how many we're going to have coming in. Probably a number. They don't always show up on wildlife. Oh, they do now. <gasps> oh, this is amazing. wonder how long that's been there, and I just haven't noticed. Yeah, Ant's got much better things to do at this time. Pox, you should be at your defensive position. Oh, you don't have one set. Well, good news. Come here, man. You're about to get a defensive position. And the same with Trav. Wow, you have a really bad gun. Jeez. Come on over here. I like the bloop noise these things make. Exotic Goods Trader. Okay, we'll deal with you in a little bit. Let's set all your defensive positions so I don't forget about it. I wasn't sure if this would kill my plants. It doesn't look like it. I mean, it still might. Yeah, it definitely acidified them. Well, that's okay. I knew that was coming out here. Okay, actually, I take this back. Ant, I actually need you out here. <laughs> We're going to need all this firepower, I think. trying to keep track of the turret to see, like, how much firing it's doing. Actually, Ant, you need a better spot. You need to be over here. Yeah, this needs to be your new defensive position. Shoot at the ones that get close. It's interesting that these are considered ranged. I suppose that makes sense. I mean, they are shooting stuff. 
Well, maybe that isn't what killed our plants. Maybe I don't actually know. We need stronger walls over here, that's for sure. I might want to double wall that just in case. I have to move these things out of the way, but... Can you see this turret firing? Like, it's not even close. Okay, hurry up. Come on, kill that one. There we go. Okay, is that it? Uh, no, there are two more. This one, and this one. Like, it was firing in this arc that was as big as this kill box. Uh, like I said, I know some of these things are getting um, retuned, but... Wait, did you just stop being Manhunter? No, we've got... Oh, down there, that one wasn't Manhunter. Never mind. Okay, here we go. Let's get this one. Okay, there's that one. Yeah, maybe it's not killing the plants. Okay. Wow. Um. Um. Wow, you guys decided to just not even hit that one at all. Okay, that's that's an odd decision. But you do you, I suppose. Yeah, come rest. We'll get you patched up, buddy. All right. Well, that was interesting. Huh. I like the fact that um, it now shows you how many uh, like um, manhunters are around. I like that quite a bit. I don't know if that's from a mod I added or not. I don't think so. I think I would have remembered that. Oh yeah, come call this exotic goods trader while you're at it. Um, anything we want to talk about here? Well, there's a couple very tempting things in here. Um, we've got these cool, like, tech prints. We could make weaponry, brain wiring, stuff like that. We're gonna hold on, we're gonna wait on that. Um, we've got an artistic neuro trainer, pass. We've got a side trainer for skip. Check this out, teleports, but it also requires level four. So I can't use that for quite a long time. Um, the same with like berserk or something. I, we can just imagine what that is. Uh, we could get a bionic toe. That would be fantastic for only 240 silver too. And we're gonna get 20 gold, yay. You know exactly why we're gonna get 20 gold. It's so I can finally build that stupid multi-analyzer that we've been waiting on for so long. Okay, let's move things out of the way. Um, I forgot what I was gonna build over here. Oh yeah, the drug lab. Um, yeah, I forgot about that. Here, just, just, just put this over here for right now. I don't care about it. Just do it. Grange, you're right here. Do it. Thank you. I realize this is no longer lined up. I'll, I'll, I'll get to it, probably. Go ahead and put this here, please. We'll fix this chair, because otherwise I will die. Grange, you're right here. If you could do this, please. Thank you. Uh, did you finish up that rifle? Oh, you did. Okay, so who gets the next assault rifle? Probably Pox, actually. I don't even need to keep looking. Yeah, come grab an assault rifle. And Trav definitely needs something better. Problem is, you are a terrible shot with a three. Why don't you come grab a machine pistol that's ever so slightly better than what it is you have? Not by much. Wait, we have bio-coded weapons in here? Why? Biocoded to who? To Zach Huber? Okay. I don't know why we have a biocoded knife? Okay. Can I prevent that? No. Okay. Well, that is worthless. We'll have to figure out a way to deal with that. I actually don't know what the right way to deal with that is. Oh, thank God, we can finally make this. Rip components, but that's okay. And I will, of course, have Ant make this. Despite the fact that Ant probably has better things to do. But I want it made. Dude, you can go rest. It's okay. It's like, all right, fine. Um, Who's I going to have do that? Not you, obviously. Um, Yeah, I can have Trav do it. Here, and then you can also do some of the crafting, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, you're just you're just not good at anything is the problem. Um, yeah, we can have Trav go back and forth, even between mining. Actually, I could have you not do mining. 
Maybe I should have you try to make some art. Let's give it a try. Let's make an art. Let's make a small, sculpt a small sculpture. And this may surprise you, but we're going to be making it out of red quartz. Artistic of four. God. All right. Whatever. Oh, I can't remember. Do you guys give me leather or anything like that? I honestly don't know. Or I did know, but I've since forgotten. If that makes any sense to you. I'm pretty confident it does. Oh, I didn't build that um, moisture thingy. Let's go ahead and let's get that taken care of. Moisture thingy. The moisture pump. Yeah, we can just put it way out here, apparently. Yeah. I mean, actually, what would be the most efficient place to put it? Right here. Basically. Yeah, right there. And let's run some power out to it. I don't know how far we'll have to go. I may be able to just put it like that. Yeah, cool. And eventually it'll be useful then. I, again, I imagine. I don't actually know, but probably. And... Hooray! We have a multi-analyzer! Oh, thank god. Go ahead and finish up brain surgery. Now we can finally research fabrication and stuff. Oh man, that has been a long time coming. I'm happy about this. Alright, and we'll keep an eye on you here quick to make sure you don't wall yourself in. Not that carefully of a look, but, you know, more than none. Looks like we may wall in our goo. Actually, I should exclude this from the goo zone then. Hey, there's brain surgery. Okay, hold on. Let's exclude you from the goo area. No goo in this general vicinity. Just in case they have more goos that mutate things. Ah, fabrication. That is what we need. Oh, and I still haven't built a drug bench. Or drug, yeah, lab. Um, let's make one. Drug lab. Um, we'll make you out of steel, I suppose. Uh, we're out of components. Okay. We've got a bunch of them over here that just nobody bothered to carry. Why don't you go ahead and hold these, please? Thank you. Oh no, don't roof this in. I wanted this to be unroofed. Don't do it, please. Oh, I just missed. Kidding. An extravagant edifice. Okay, so this Praetor of the Fallen Dominion is requesting that you build a monument to honor her mother. It's 12 by 13 in size, and it will require these resources. Bamboo, steel, and ironwood. I don't have any way to get a hold of those. Will you give this stuff to me? I don't know. I'm gonna have to wait until one of you tell me. I've got three days. I have no idea if they bring me that stuff or not. Muscle parasites. Annoying. Okay. Trav, how are you doing? I need you out of bed here pretty soon, buddy. Yeah, you're up already. You'll be fine. Actually, I have to turn bed rest down to two on all of you anyway. Yeah. Clownsy's treatment. Pox. Yeah. This sucks, to be sure. Where are you, anyway? Resting. Okay, good. A manhunter pack. Arctic wolves. Um, doubt. Oh god, that's a lot of arctic wolves. Um, okay. Um, first off, animals please come inside. Come on into the base. Um, I have some of these doors held open still. That's not great. Um, at least nobody is away from the base. Um, who can I get over here the fastest? I don't really like risking Ant, but I think I can get through and back there the quickest. Um, and I've got to close this door. Then we should basically be able to camp out inside. And we should be okay. I think. Okay. Yeah, go free. Alright. I don't think the wolves will have seen them go past. It does not look like it. Okay. So, let's go ahead and let's just forbid these outer doors and make sure that nobody goes through them. Is this door set to close? It is. Um, how funny should come close it for me, please? Just in case. Oh, and this switch needs to be turned off. No guns. 
Trav, will you flip off switches at least? Okay, you'll flip off switches. And make sculptures very slowly, apparently. And did that get it? It did. Okay, good. Let's build another door. There's really no reason not to have two doors, right? Let's make sure that my base zone includes everything that I expect it to. It does include that. Um, I should probably expand it, actually, to include the area that they're in. The area that Rizal's in, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay. Well, I can wait out some wolves. I don't really want to deal with that many wolves, and we're not really in desperate need of the meat or anything like that, so... Yeah, we can just wait them out as far as I'm concerned. I think. Yeah, they're not looking like they're going to bother us. Okay. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and take a break. When we come back, um, I may make an area to get through to Rizal just so that, you know, it doesn't die. Um, and I think we're just going to wait out the wolves. We can finish hollowing out this area down here and then start building in this direction. So that'll be fun. So, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.